We're inside Sunray Cinema. We've been speaking with a lot of people who say they just love this place. It's a staple in their community and they would hate to see anything happen to it. Now we're learning a little bit about what this place was like in the past. About 100 years ago, it was called the Riverside Theater. Tickets cost a dollar and ten cents. Wow. So it's a Historian Dr. Wayne Wood references the book he wrote that mentions the theater he's loved for 50 years. What can you tell us about the architect, uh, Roy Benjamin? Well, Roy Benjamin was the most prolific theater architect in the southern United States in all history. Wood says Benjamin designed more than 200 movie theaters, including the San Marco Theater and the Florida theater. 20 years after its opening, they changed the name to the Five Points Theater. By the 70s, it closed, then reopened and used as a performing arts theater and club. Then in 2004, the Shad family bought it, and in 2011, it became Sunray Cinema. It's just like no other place in Jacksonville, and we can't afford to lose another historic building like this. Now, we're told the future of the cinema could be at risk, and that's news a lot of people just don't want to hear, especially because they say when you go out into Five Points, a lot of the business here have come and gone, which is why some people say they're just not surprised to see talks of efforts to change this place from what it is. And we spoke with the Riverside Avondale Preservation about this. Some of the businesses next to it may have changed since then. Well, I mean, it's brew. It's still that's there. Still brew? Yeah. Okay. That's Pizza Cave. So that's the other Sunray owned business. Gotcha. And that did close. Booger Shoes, right. that did close. Right. So, but those are, they both closed in the last few months. But again, it's just speaking to that ever changing five points. Yeah. Being a small independently owned business means that when circumstances change, um, when finances change, when, you know, conditions in life, you know, don't make your business as maybe profitable as it once was, um, it forces you to sort of take a different turn. This just hasn't been the case for Sunray. How would you feel yeah. if it actually closed? I would feel very disappointed. Um, I would have less of a reason to come to Five Points. They credit movies coming there that you can't see anywhere else and an experience that's just unique to Jacksonville. Not only is it a great movie theater, but it kind of fits in the funky vibe of Five Points. It's a little offbeat and the, the lobby is, is painted with uh, murals from uh, monster movies, and uh, it's a very personal theater. In Five Points, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.